Hello friends, my name is Bharoz and welcome to my channel where I share with you tips and tricks that I read, learn and apply in order to become my best version. Now in previous video that I made on Roth 401k and 401k, I did an Excel modeling in order to determine that which one is better to contribute in or invest in. And what we concluded was that if the tax rate at which you contribute in 401k is the same as the tax rate at which you withdraw from 401k, in that case, you're better off investing and contributing into Roth 401k as against 401k. That is, you are better off contributing in after-tax account of Roth 401k versus pre-tax of 401k. However, admittedly so, this was a bit surprising because when you're contributing in 401k, you're also getting tax help in the year you're contributing, which you can use to further invest and compound and grow your investments. However, despite the tax help, 401k comes out to be a lower return versus Roth 401k. Why is that so? So this is what I'll explain in this video. What exactly makes Roth 401k a better return on investment versus 401k, assuming that the tax rate at which we are contributing is same as the tax rate at which we are withdrawing? If that is so, what is that makes Roth 401k a better return on investment versus 401k? I will make use of math and numbers in order to explain what is the key driver. In fact, what I will do is I will create an Excel model to help you explain the numbers. So let's get going. So here, first let's start with 401k. Let's say we are at the starting of our year 59 and at the end of year 59, we can take out our money. So our contribution at the start of age 59 is $100 and we earn a return on this $100 at 8% rate. So the total money that we can withdraw is 108. Now we also get tax saving. So tax saving on 100 is let's say we have a tax rate of 30%. So we get $30. And then we also invest these $30 for one year and we make a return on it, which is 2.4. So total is 32.4. Now the reason I'm using just one year or age 59 and the idea is to have one year is to make the calculation very easy, very simple. So we can distill the reasons why or what is the what is going on in the mathematics, which is really making Roth 401k better than 401k. So hence I've used one year here just for the sake of explanation. Now, what will be the after tax withdrawals? So withdrawal from withdrawal one, let's call it withdrawal one. Withdrawal one would have two parts. One is withdrawal of the contribution. So when we withdraw the $100 contribution, we will pay tax on it. The tax rate is same 30%. So we will get $70 back while when we pay tax on the return we will get 5.6 back because we will also pay tax on this return which is the eight dollar so net withdrawal one is 75.6 so we get 75.6 dollars here and then when we withdraw money from here it's withdrawal two it's called withdrawal two so here on the money that we contributed, we'll get 30 as is because this money was after tax. So we won't pay any tax on this, but on the return that we make, we'll pay tax on this return. So 30% tax on this return. So we get net withdrawal two of 31.68. Total withdrawal is 31.68 plus 75.6 here 59 we call it 401k now let's do the same calculation for Roth 401k here we contribute $100 and we also earn a return of 8% we get the same numbers here we don't get any tax savings so nothing here zero zero and then zero so here the withdrawal one would be same which is hundred dollars because we don't pay any tax on this one because this is 
this contribution was after paying tax on it already and then we get eight dollars as is so we make 108 here while we don't get anything here so zero because there is nothing here and zero here as well so let's say how much do we make in total we make 108 dollars from Roth 401k versus $107 from so the amount is lower in 401k versus Roth 401k now let's see which element makes it lower now when we compare the numbers we see that we get our contribution back in both instances so here we get $100 back so let's color it yellow and let's find this $100 here in 401k which is the 70 and this 30 so I'll color this in yellow as well so we get our contribution back in both cases. In 401k, we get 70 and 30 back, which is 100. And in Roth 401k, we get 100 back as well. However, the difference arises from the return. So the return that we get in 401k is 5.6 plus 1.7, which is 7.3. So we get 7.3 here in return, and I'll color it. Let's say green. But the return that we get here is $8. So it is the return that we get more in Roth 401k versus 401k. So even though the return in absolute is more in 401k, which is $8 plus $2.4, which is $10.4 in total. However, because of taxation, we only get 5.6 and 1.7, which is 7.3. While in case of Roth 401k, we don't pay any tax on the amount which we earn, which is although a lower amount because the investment was lower, because here we were investing 100 and then we were investing 30. Hence, 8% of 130 was a higher amount. Here we are only investing 100, so we're only getting 8. But we don't pay any tax on this 8. And therefore, we get the 8 as is. While in case of 401k, we get when we pay the tax on the 8 plus the 2.4, which is 10.4, we only get 7.3. And that is why we get less money in 401k versus Roth 401k that is primarily due to the fact that in Roth 401k the returns are also tax-free while in 401k the returns incur a tax rate. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this video was helpful for you to now have a fair assessment and understanding of what makes Roth 401k a better return on investment versus 401k assuming that the tax rate at the time of withdrawal is either same or higher than the tax rate at the time of contribution. Thank you.